Hello, Pick Farm House and Pick Lovers. Welcome back to the Vasa Pick Farm. Okay. I promise to show you some of the things I do before I go to bed at night. Because I live in the farm, I live in my farm. So at night, I go around, check all the pigs. And uh, while I check them, I look for some certain things. For the winners, I look for diarrhea signs. For the growers, I look at their faces as well and also their body generally, how they are looking while they are sleeping. Also, I check for, you know, some insects like termites, uh, not termites, the soldier ants and all that. So we're generally to close the day, check on them, make sure that they are okay. Also to know if there's anyone delivering and all that. Just to check if they are okay before I go to bed. Okay? So let's go around. I uh, think there are, we have pigs in about uh, 30 rooms or so. So let's see some of them tonight. Okay. Here we have uh, our camrock, a durock, replacement boils, a camrock, durock, large white. And here we have some of our replacement guilds, our camrock females. Like I said, whenever you hear us mentioning camrock, at a Duvasa pig farm, we only have we only deal on two breeds. One is uh, pure Durox. The other one is Camrock. So those Camrocks are simply cross breeds of Durox. So we just decided to get a unique name for them in our farm. We call them Camrock. So here we have our two female Camrocks as replacement goats and uh, a TN here so over here we have uh, these uh dating mamas they, this room is really small for them major reason why we are building a, a 1000 capacity farm because uh, we are really squeezing them in we are running out of space but we are out of space we are just managing okay here we have uh, three pregnant uh, pigs this is their first pregnancy okay okay here is another pregnant lady okay and here we have uh, some growers over here we have our newly weaned piglets there are two pregnant girls it's pregnant females as well it's like i started the whole farm okay these are also newly crossed newly crossed we are watching for confirmation newly crossed Yes, another pregnant female. She'll be delivering any moment from September first week. This is actually her second uh, pregnancy. This lady is supposed to deliver tonight, if not tomorrow, if not tomorrow, or next tomorrow. So she's slated for 25th of uh, August. Okay, and uh, here she is, first pregnancy as well. Now, due to the success of our Idovasa concentrate with PKC only, and now PKC is not only expensive, but also uh, PKC is not only expensive, 
it is also becoming scarce. You know, you now have to pay ahead to get a PKC here in Enugu. So, and uh, with the deliveries we're expecting, by the time all these delivery, all these big drops, we'll be having over 200, 300 pigs here. So we cannot run our farm with that kind of uh, issue. So we have decided to take a bold step. We've practiced it for three days now, mixing some PKC, but from tomorrow, uh, just know that uh, this video might not be posted the following day I did it. But the next step we are taking is this. We are going to start feeding our pigs starting from uh, 25th of August. This video, I'm making this video on the 24th of, 24th of August. So on the 25th of August, we are going to start uh, feeding our pigs with with a uh, wet spent grain, wet, wet uh, barley, wet spent grain, and our concentrates alone. So we've done it for the past three days. Everything is looking okay. But from tomorrow, which is 25th of August, we'll start pure spend grain and uh, concentrate only and see how it works out. So if it's successful, I think it will help every pig farmer to actually reduce costs and make more profits. So let's move on. These are also pregnant uh, pigs, first pregnancy. We've crossed them and we've confirmed them pregnant. Now, this particular lady that is pregnant there, she is that lady that came when she came to our farm around uh, by at uh, that's around the second week of December, our first week of December when she came to our farm. She was about two months old, about two months old then, and she was weighing. One kg. She came with her sister. She was weighing one kg. Uh, we later lost her sister when we put them in together with. That was long uh, after they have started picking up. When we now put them together with uh, other winners, one of the winners was so aggressive. He, he, before we could separate the fights, before we could even know that they were fighting. The sister was killed in a fight, but she survived. Now that's that's her over there. Remember, by December, at least second week, first week, second week of December, this lady was weighing one kg only, one kg only. Now you can look at her. The only thing we fed her with is Edovasa concentrates and PKC. Edovasa concentrates and PKC only. There she is, pregnant now, grown. Do you understand? So for those thinking that uh, our because it's a fiber-based diet, it doesn't work, they, we are not feeding them only PKC. We are feeding them PKC and Edovasa concentrate. There is something in that concentrate that facilitates this growth you are seeing. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So and from tomorrow, like I said, we will test our feed with spent grain, and uh, since we have done our research, we found out that uh, the West Penguin is richer than PKC. So let's see the result we'll get with it. Okay, over here we have another pregnant lady. We're expecting her to also deliver very soon. I think uh, if I remember her record, 19th of September. If I remember, I think that's it, 19th of September. Okay. These are also pregnant uh, females. Still their first pregnancy. Okay. Okay, this is another pregnant one. It's her second pregnancy. This is her second pregnancy. Remember when we moved over to our new site, that was a, we moved over to this, our new site around December. We had to sell most of our older pigs just to raise money and facilitate the movement. So most of our pigs now are in there, we started afresh again when we got here. So most of our, our, of our pigs are in their first delivery. So this one, 
happened to we just decided to leave her because uh, she was she was almost due to delivery before we moved down to this place. So this is her second pregnancy. She's one of the three or four older pigs we left behind. But this one is one of the younger ones. This is her second pregnancy. So she's also expected to drop maybe tonight, just like the other one, 25th of uh, September, uh, of August. But remember, it's a plus or minus thing. So, but we know she will deliver this week. Okay. These are also pregnant. That's our second uh, Duroc mother. She's also pregnant. Okay. These ladies are coming up. We're getting them ready in two months' time. In two months' time, we will cross them as well. In two months' time. Okay. These are some of our growers as well. Some of our growers. These are still some of our growers. They are coming up. And uh, they are all females here. So and the other room I showed you, they are also females. So we are all crossing them. We are, we are heading towards having 100 sows that give birth. So in, a, in our bid to raise our 100 sows that will be giving birth, these are some of our growers coming up. Okay. Here are still some of our growers. Okay, over here we have some other growers as well. <laughs> At least you can see our pigs eating our fiber-based diet. I don't know if you have seen skinny, malnourished ones. Just let us know. So here we have our Durok Bua. He's, he's at work to cross uh, the two standing uh, ladies. Uh, they gave us those piglets we just wind. Those newly wind piglets came from these two ladies okay so the third one over there she's still she's uh, pregnant the duroc we are like i said we are managing space so the duroc is here mainly for these two ladies that are standing we just win them a week ago and uh, we usually give our females one week rest after one week rest we cross them again so that's what they are i think the duroc must have crossed them by now because this one, the both of them entered heat about a day or two days ago. Here is another pregnant one. She will also deliver very soon. First, this is also her first pregnancy. Okay, Edovasa concentrate and PKC only. You can you also saw those ones in the other side, the Durobu and the rest. Okay, these are also newly crossed, newly crossed uh, guilt. Newly crossed, we are waiting to confirm them pregnant or recross anyone that is not pregnant yet. Newly crossed. Okay, this is our Camrock. This is her fourth pregnancy. We are expecting her to farrow on the 30th of this month. Okay. Okay, this is our Duro mother. This is her second pregnancy. She's expected to deliver on the 2nd of September. Hmm? And finally, these are our one, I think they should be, they were born on the 19th of last month so 19th of this moment then one month they should be about five weeks now uh four weeks and some days i think 19 20 call it five weeks roughly five weeks old seven of them they were born seven and they're still seven 
and uh, that's their mother over there. So that's their crib. They already they are eating their crib feed. That's their mother over there. Also, her first pregnancy. Okay. All right. So that's all we have for now. Remember, uh, we we slaughter pigs every time. If I last last week. I think last week Saturday, yes, we slaughtered about uh, between last week and upper week. Last week we slaughtered uh, four of them. Upper one we slaughtered six of them. So, but in our farm we always, due to the nature of pig, they keep giving birth. You keep slaughtering, they keep reproducing and all that. So, but as at now we have always maintained a number of hundred, hundred, even as we are killing, more are still being born you know, keeping the number at that hundred. But by the time all, all these ones deliver, I think that will bring us about averaging of 200. Even as we're slaughtering, we'll be still having about 200 all the time. So, but by the time we have those 100 females delivering all the time, that's where we are headed. At least we'll be having uh, uh, at least 1,000 at every point in time, 1,000 pigs at every point in time. So that's the future of a Dovasa pig farm. Remember, if you, you have seen our mm -hmm. pigs eating the concentrate and PKC, so if you if you are, if you like what you saw, check through the product uh, through the description in this video. You will see our product. If you need any of them, chat us up, and we'll send it to you. Till next time, I remain Mr. Daniel Zj the Vasa Pig Farm, and this is about uh, 11 p.m. tonight, 24th of August, 2022. So till next time. Stay blessed and keep farming rights.